Hello friends, this is Layla Harris from Crafty Layla, and today I want to show you a card I made on the Season of Joy new Cricut cartridge. It's a digital cartridge that's for the Explore and Maker series of machines. And this is a Silent Night um, Z-Fold card. And this one has been broken, but I'm going to show you how to make it, and then how beautiful it can be with um, glitter paper. So this one was made entirely out of cardstock. I used Peacock, White Daisy, Lagoon, and Glacier. And I've cut it out already. And here are the pieces. I put them on a red piece of cardstock so that we could see it and not lose the pieces on the white background. So for this, I really just need a Bonding Memories glue pen or some double-sided tape, but I'm using the glue pen because that is what we sell. I have my nonstick scissors from Close to My Heart here also. I'm not going to need them for cutting, but they have a really sharp tip, and if I need to poke out any of the little pieces on my card base, I will have them on hand. So let's get started. This is all completely designed and ready for you in the cartridge. So when you click on it, you're just going to get all of these at the same size, pre sized and all that but it's probably going to come in to be about three inches tall so if you change the height at to 5.5 inches you will get a standard size card you don't want to mess with the width because we have tabs here that are designed to fold around and attach one layer to the next and so don't worry about it not being four and a quarter but you can see here if i line it up it is five and a half inches tall so there's two ways to do these tabs. One, you could fold it here or even just cut this one off and not have so much of a Z fold, but to glue it right here. But I am gonna actually wrap this one around to the back side of this card. And that's what I'm going to do for all of them. This is our dual action glue pen. This is an older one with an older wrapper on it and that so you just you want it to be blue and wet when you put this on so that it has a really good hold and that I'm pressing the nib in to prime it I've had this one for a couple years so I use them for workshops so I have a lot of them and I don't actually use every one of them on a regular basis so I just folded this and now I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the card and wrap this around and then tear it down. Sorry, my phone and camera are attached to the table. So I'll try to get rid of the jiggliness when I process this video. But there we go. And the next one has the tab on the left side. So let's just bend the tab over. And this is the double-sided cardstock, which is lighter on the back. Some of it is the new, like this. My Peacock and Glacier are an older style that's the same color on both sides. But this Lagoon is the newer one because I use a lot more of it. And I bought a new package. I want to say that our cardstock now is sold in packs of 12 instead of 24 which is really handy for people who um, need a bunch but not tons and that and it's a little bit less expensive when you have to when you buy a bulk pack it's only ten dollars instead of fifteen so I want to point that out because 24 sheets seemed like a lot of paper and if you are local to me message me I live in Everett Washington and I have nearly every color on hand and I do shall sell these sheets individually. So now I'm just gluing down the glacier one. Now I suppose I could have done the sentiment first but I do like to just I wanted to put this part first because this is the part that confuses people the most and that and now we have a Z fold card. So it's very 3D looking. I'll hold it apart. So this is what it would look like if it were sitting on a mantle without and not looking straight down on it. So it will 
fold up flat and go in a regular standard A2 envelope, which is for 5.5 by four and a quarter inch tall cards. So now we have Silent Night, and you'll notice how this area has stars cut through it, and then there's a solid area, and it's just really perfect because it lines up beautifully. And the dot for the eye is attached to the T on Silent Night, or Silent, so we kind of have to make sure they're lined up properly before we glue them down so that the eyes match up. And then this last eye is has a star dot that's separate. Okay, so here is one of the little pieces that didn't release and stick to the paper or the mat, so I'm removing it before I glue it down because we don't want a solid spot. And I'm going to show you a trick, and I totally forgot to prepare this. For gluing with um, wet glues, we have a really great nonstick all-purpose mat, but if you glue one item and then you go to glue something else, you either have to clean it or you have to move to a different spot. You don't want to get glue from one part of the project onto it. So one idea you can do is take an old catalog. This one is from 2017 and the great part is is that you still will probably be able to use the catalog even after you get a little bit of glue on it. But it's really great with these Bonding Memories pens to we're going to get glue this on. And I'm actually going to reach over and grab a different pen that's wetter. I will work on repriming that one when I'm not on camera so I don't jiggle the table. So you can see how this one is blue when it comes out. And that's what we want because if it's blue, it's permanent, and if it's white and dries when you stick it together, it's like a sticky note, and it's repositionable. And that's the way we get the name two-way glue pen, because if you let it dry to its tackiness before you stick it down to a paper, it will actually be repositionable, which is really handy in some cases, but not in this case. So. There's the word night. Now this is where I glued before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the page and this is almost tacky dry now so it's no big deal. And then I'm going to turn the page and glue on a different page. I like using catalogs that have a sheen on them because they don't stick together as much and the ink doesn't transfer to the project I'm working on. I mean, I could have used my voters pamphlet from last night, but that's a newsprint type of pamphlet and not as good. So you want something with a little bit of glossy. I used to use my girlfriend's Mary Kay catalogs until she caught me using the current one. And then she made fun of it. So I thought it was a great idea because I kept her catalog with all the time. But she didn't think it was funny when I used the current one. So this star, I can probably put it on the same page. It was sticky here, so I'll just put it down here in this corner. But this way you're never getting glue on the front of your project. It's not as important when you're working with glitter, but if you don't want the glue mess on the front of a cardstock piece, this is the way to go. So that's it. This is how you make that card. And as I said, it's really simple. Just size your project to five and a half inches tall in design space and fold the tabs back around. And you have a very easy to put together card. That's beautiful. And if you want, you can cover this back area with either white glitter paper or heavy white cardstock or heavy printer paper and that, and then you'll have a place to write your message. I'd probably suggest the White Daisy cardstock because if you're writing, you don't want to poke through where the stars are at. So yeah, I'd recommend cardstock. Or better yet, you could 
leave this off and write your sentiment first and then glue it on because if you're like me and you get distracted by a child who never stops talking, I always write something that pops out of his mouth instead of what is running through my brain and then I have to start over with the card. So yeah, use a piece of white cardstock, write your message and then glue it on and it will look beautiful and perfect and your friend will have a beautiful card for Christmas. So that's it. I will talk to you soon. Bye.